INEC confessed in a video, we knew 25% is mandatory. Mahmoud declared us breaking news. Hello, people. Welcome back once again to this particular YouTube channel. You know, when we will tell you people that, as a matter of fact, that that criminal being INEC chairman, Mahmoud Yakubu, acted on his own. He intentionally acted on his own because he has collected a whole lot of bribe from uh, Bola Ahmed, Tinibu, and the All Progressive Congress to rig the election and to declare Tinibu the president of this particular country at all costs, no matter what happens and whatever the case is. I must tell you for, for, for the fact, he is just the INEC chairman and he does not, as a matter of fact, represent the entire INEC. He acted on his own. Some commissioners and some staff within the INEC body knew that this particular man did the wrong thing by declaring Tinibu the president when he did not even have up to 25% in the FCT. He knew, Mahmoud Yakubu knew. I'm going to play a video for you to watch and see what the INEC, as a matter of fact, the real INEC people, being the INEC commissioners and the former INEC resident uh, commissioner, was, was actually saying, even before the election started, everybody, every staff within the INEC body knew, as a matter of fact, that 25%, uh, uh, having 25% in FCT is mandatory. Everybody knew. But Mahmoud Yakubu, even after lecturing, even after lecturing these people about the 25 percent in fct and uh, and all the conduct and the electoral act and the requirements for someone to be declared as a winner went ahead to declare him the winner going against what he thought even his genius in the INEC body well let me play the video when we come back we'll analyze the entire situation the first election is in their hand far more important is the provision of section 134 subsection 2b of the of the current of the constitution it is to say into the fact that no presidential candidate can be declared a winner in this election without having 25 percent in the federal capital territory that is very important for the whole world to know that tomorrow's election wherever the, the, the to be finally declared apart from having 25 percent in 24 states of the federal republic of nigeria the federal capital territory is like a compulsory question. You can answer all that question. The federal capital territory, you can have 25 percent. You go nowhere. This is important. And finally, the broad outline of the 21st century, Dr. Bati, is clear. It offers opportunity for people who can work together, live together, and give not only to themselves but their future generations whose faces we are yet to see, whose name we will never know, who through a democratic process in a free and credible election will be able to give not only to themselves, the future generation who faces we are yet to see, whose name we we'll never know. All of whom must say that in our own time we did what was necessary. On that I note, wish that on that note, look, on that note, Mr. Again, I would like to thank you very much for from the video you just watched. It is clear that every person, every work, uh, every worker, every staff within the Independent National Electoral Commission in this particular country knew, as a matter of fact, that he cannot be declared a president if you don't have 25% in the federal capital territory. And this is the first time, as a matter of fact, that a president, a so-called president of this particular country, cannot get up to even 20% in the federal capital territory to tell you how rejected this particular person is. You know, the only reason why Tinibu did not get up to 25% in FCT is because he couldn't rig the federal capital territory where a lot of uh, election observers, foreign bodies, and institutions are and the, the security and the military there are, are, are plenty that is why the INEC, the INEC and APC or INEC couldn't read that particular AB, uh, Abuja in favor of Bola Ahmed Tinibu that is why he didn't get up to 25 percent when they saw that that particular plan has failed they decided to bastardize our constitution Mahmoud Yakubu decided to bastardize our constitution because they believe that this is a lawless country that anything goes the constitution can be bastardized without someone someone paying the price for it there, is, there haven't been any president in this particular country who didn't get up to 25% in FCT. But look at our INEC chairman. Just look at what he did by declaring somebody that, that did not meet the constitutional requirement as the president of this particular country. You could see what this particular Mike Higini said, who is the INEC resident commissioner in Akwaibom. If This is an eve before the election to tell you that everybody within the INEC body knew that it was mandatory to have 25% in FCT. But because they were unable to rig that, uh, they were unable to rig it. They, what they actually did was to not declare that particular person as the president without having reference or reverence for our, our constitution. It is quite pathetic. It is quite pathetic. In a developed country, this particular man, being INEC chairman, must, as a matter of fact, be, 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 be arrested for, 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 for bastardizing our constitution and constituting a whole lot of nuisance. Because it is the reason why we are actually going to court. Had it been he did the needful? Had it been he did the necessary thing that he was supposed to do, I must tell you for the fact by now nobody could have been in the in, in, in the election petition tribunal. He did not transmit the result as, as was required. And when he when when the person that he wanted to become the president did not meet the constitutional requirements, 
he 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 decided to bastardize our constitution at all costs because he knows that nothing will happen. Well, he should know that at the end of the day, he, he will either go in for it, he must go in for it, he must, as a matter of fact, go in for it. Even the blind knew that or knows that having 25% in FCT is mandatory. Confessions and a whole lot of evidence have started coming out to prove to you and to show you that that everybody knew that having this particular requirement is necessary to be declared as the number one citizen of this particular country. You want to reside in a place in Abuja, a place where you cannot get up to 25% of the votes, just 25%. Nobody is asking you to win Abuja. Nobody is asking you, as a matter of fact, to have the highest number of votes in Abuja just for you to meet a constitutional requirement, which is as, which is as little as 25%. And Tinubu couldn't get it. To tell you that he, he is an illegal president and he, he never got up to 8 point something million votes, which INEC, being the criminal, being the INEC chairman, Mahmoud Yakub, allocated to him. The truth has started coming out already. I must tell you for the fact. I must, I, must, I must tell you for the fact, the truth has started coming out. Well, I would like you guys to drop your comments and tell me what you think about this recent development. And the confession that this INEC, uh, former INEC resident uh, commissioner said concerning having 25% in FCT and how compulsory and mandatory it is.